broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets heard them, the bombs bursting in. And welcome in, folks. Thanks so much for being with us here for Faulkner Esports production of Rocket League. The Rocket League blue team is playing tonight. You may realize that we actually had to reschedule this one, but we are going to be playing our final game of the season tonight. Originally, it was supposed to be a doubleheader. Unfortunately, there was a family emergency with the other team, and so uh, they requested that we reschedule to tonight. So here we are. Thank you for being with us. Uh, I am Caleb Colquitt, and my broadcast partner tonight is going to be someone from the Rocket League White team, Mr. Logan Clark. So thanks so much for being with us for the first time. And uh, you may also notice, and I'll stand up here just a little bit, uh, we have our jerseys in, which is pretty awesome. So uh, we've got uh, our jerseys finally in for the last game of the season. That was uh, fantastic timing there on our part. Yeah. Uh, so we did have a little trouble getting those early on, but, you know, that's what happens sometimes with a new team. So let's yeah. go ahead and introduce our players for tonight's game. Uh, we have uh, – can we go to that? Yep, there we go. Yeah, so uh, having a little technical difficulties, but we got it. Here we go. So tonight we have Cameron Gentle, also known as Camran. I think that's how you pronounce that name. Uh, that's his screen name. He's the captain. And then right next to him, Joshua Lane. That's uh, Land 3. And then Big Bran, that is Brandon Campbell. So they're going to be playing tonight. We got the uh, all-star team for Faulkner Blue. Uh, and they're about to get that underway here in just a second. They're getting the lobby set up in, in the field. Um, now, uh, Logan, you've been uh, watching these guys from the beginning of the season. You've really kind of had Cameron and the others sort of mentor you since you're on the white team. Mm -hmm. uh, what, do you ex what would you say is the most distinctive part of their play style? I really think they know uh, very well how to mesh and play together. I've seen some of their gameplay and a lot of the passes and, and other rotation skills that they're able to do. It really has um, set them apart. That's probably why they're, why they're number one and undefeated going into the, after this match and then going into the playoffs, uh, they should be uh, undefeated, but they, they really know how to play well together and just the, the skill skill set of all of them really makes them stand out. Yeah, and I think that that's absolutely true. We don't want to get too uh, too far ahead of ourselves. We yeah. don't want to get over our skis. But at the same time, we did just take down the other number one team and now the number two team after facing us. Uh, and after that, you know, the guys are feeling pretty confident. We feel pretty good that if we can win tonight, which should be an easier game than last night, we will go into the playoffs with the number one slot. So yeah. that looks really good uh, that we will be able to do that. And it looks like they're getting the lobby set up right now. So these guys have worked really hard this season. They've done an excellent job, especially it being a new season. So we're going to go ahead and go to the field to play now. We've got the game starting, and there we have kickoff. All right, so uh, looks like Cameron starts out pretty fast with, the, with a little bit of aggression. You see that they've spent most of the time of the – uh, most of the time in the game so far on the orange side, though so starting out with a very offensive-minded uh, sort of play here. Yep. Oh, that's the goal. 
All right, and uh, Faulkner goes up one nothing against Ferris to start out. So Eagles getting a nice score there with Cameron just kind of uh, that goal that that ball was pretty much already heading in. Cameron just kind of sealed the deal. Oh, it looks like we're having a little little trouble with our um, uh, with our scoring system. Uh, hang on, just a second. We'll see if we can get that fixed. Faulkner off to a fast start there. Oh, Ferris is scoring. And now Ferris ties it up. Commentator's curse. <laughs> so we have a tie ball game with three minutes and 30 seconds left. Let's see how Faulkner answers. And it looks like do we have Lane left this time. No, Cameron. And Brandon going to kick the ball into enemy territory with Barber trying to answer, but Lane takes control of the ball back. It's almost like a volleyball match right now with all the back and forth we're seeing. And Barber trying to play off that corner, but not really able to get a good handle on the ball. And I'll say that name, Star. <laughs> Something like that. I, you don't put that many confidence next to one another. You just don't do it. All right. Yeah. yeah, something. Star Lord. Who? <laughs> All right. So Cameron uh, going to try to do a little bit of setup here to hopefully one of his teammates be in position, but unfortunately, ball stolen from him, and we're back in blue territory. Cameron bounces off the backboard. Yep. Sometimes bouncing it off the backboard like that, I mean, that can be risky, but it's also a, a good way to get the ball moving in the direction. Um, and if you do it at the right angle, you'll keep it from going center. A lot of back and forth going on. Yeah, there really is. Much more than I was anticipating, honestly. Oh, and that oh, was an excellent save by Lane there. Cameron now spinning the goal and drifting into a defensive position. The fancy air dribble there. How close? How oh, very close. Lane's going to kick it back out. All right. Nice job, Cameron. That's going to be goal number two. A little bit low lift. Scoring them in Tipoli three from the first game, but they're leading, that's all that matters. Yep. Taking it a little easy. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, it looks like one of our players may have lost connection. He goes on the air team. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Good. No, that is uh, definitely no bueno. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> our broadcaster Kayla just laughed at me for using Spanish. <laughs> uh, I'm sure my accent is not good. I didn't even think of that. Okay, your accent's no bueno. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how she would react. But uh, all right, so oh, uh, gotta hand it to Ferris, doing a pretty good job of defending, considering they were a man down for a big part of that set. Still scored. It's almost like a very long demo. They are back now, by the way. Yeah. They've got a full team. So they only lost connection for a Alright. 
So, Ferris really kind of taking control of the ball on that kickoff, and despite that, it wound up actually going in the direction that Faulkner wanted it to, so that's kind of funny, because generally what they shoot for is they're trying to have the kickoff uh, go at an angle to their back corner. That usually sets them up to do something with that. Which I know sounds counterintuitive, but that's what the game like plays. So I'm not going to question it. Um, Green the last 8 o'clock. Yep. Two, one. And down. Nope. Oh, <laughs> oh trying to get one more in there. <laughs> Cameron trying to show off. <laughs> Which, I mean, normally I'd say quit showing off, just knock it down. But when you're ahead by two, it yeah. really doesn't make that big difference. Because yeah. even if they score, you know, they're not going to have time left on the clock to do anything with it. So That's you really true. don't leave yourself open doing that. Uh, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, so that means Faulkner takes the first game. Which means they are just two victories away from wrapping up a perfect season, which would be nice. Here. Yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, of course, they'll still have to play in the playoffs, but yeah. their regular season will be perfect if they win tonight. And uh, really, a pretty dominant performance by Ferris. I think that they are just trying to like settle in and not get over their skis here, which I think is the right thing to do, especially you don't want to get like super overconfident after yeah. you take down the other number one team. Um, so I think just kind of keeping a level head and, and playing normally, not trying to show off too much or anything like that, I think. Yeah, they, they kept it pretty close. Yeah, and you can tell by looking in the uh, arena there that uh, – <laughs> I know that the audience doesn't see that. Cameron's yeah. actually like doing a little victory dance. There, so <laughs> it's good to see the guys having a good time. It really is. I mean, ultimately, that's uh, part of what we're doing here is just uh, having fun. So let's go ahead and cut back to the field. It uh, looks like we're about to kick off. There we go. All right. And um, yeah, good, good clean start. And Barber trying to do something with it, but quickly has control taken by Lane. Yep. A little off center. See what Cameron can do with it. Good stuff, I'm hoping. So. Brandon doing a good job of dribbling there, but besides the best to rotate back and boost. And Lane on the defense there. Oh, it's it up. No. Oh, they saved it. Good job by them. Just running some interference and keeping the setup from getting center, because Cameron definitely would have had that if the ball had been in position. And getting the ball clear of the goal. Nice. Oh, and Lane with nothing but open field. Ooh. Excellent. Look at this. So Tyler just misses that aerial, and then Lane, I mean, just an easy goal there. Not much to it. Nope. Sometimes that can be a very big part of this game is just waiting for your opponent to make a mistake and then oh. capitalizing on it. Oh, and very quickly, goal. another one. There you go. Cameron just... Uh, just saw an opportunity and went for it. Here we go. It's like a little boost, and then straight on the nose, right into the goal. Love it. So Faulkner with a 2-0 lead, but, you know, still a lot of time in this match. <laughs> Brandon almost got a goal there. Good shot. That a defender in the way. Oh, nice. All right. Cameron coming down off the top rope. Look at, look at that. He set himself up. <laughs> Smooth. I'm sure the audience didn't even hear that. They probably don't know what I'm referencing. So here's Barber. And Cameron with a nice 
tip back from start. Barber driving towards the goal, but interrupted by Brandon. Cameron on defense, and then Lane just comes in and moves the ball downfield. Oh, oh very close. close, yeah. Lane Not almost the got corner. there. Oh, uh, something you, buffy. yeah, something you don't see on the Faulkner Blue team very often is you had a couple guys in the same place. Usually they're pretty good about getting oh. spread out. And there's Cameron with another goal. Nice pass from the other lane. Looked like it. Yeah, yeah Lane knocks kind of down. knocks it down. Cameron's right there in a perfect position to make the goal. Nice job. A good lead going on now. Good thing that that guy's not Tyler. <laughs> good. Oh, and the demo. And not Tyler with the ball. Barber playing a little aggressively, trying to be in position to capitalize on that, but not able to do what he wanted there. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, so Cameron's going to rotate back now because I think they realized they were all in the same place and didn't need to be. But with a 4 nothing lead, they can afford to just burn some clock. Oh, and Lang gets demoed. Cameron going to try to put it right back in, though. Can he do it? Uh, nice air dribble, but too many defenders in the way. So Brandon just sort of tips it in front of his car. Lane with a spinning kick. Is that a kick? I don't know if that is. Oh, in and out. Oh, oh and Brandon with the goal. Nice. That's Brandon's first goal of the night. And Brandon has gotten several assists, but that's the first time he's actually been the one to punch it in. It's blue. I think that's pronounced for a fight. And Barber. Trying to get control of the ball, but the 5 nothing lead by the Eagles. This, uh, Ferris wants to win this one. They're going to have to come up with something very quick. And Cameron there to defend. Make sure the ball is knocked off center. And Strafiker beats Lane there, but Cameron is there to pick it up when it's knocked down. And rotates out to let Brandon take this one. Yeah, I think they're trying to stall some of the clock out. Yeah, I don't even think they're necessarily all that worried about getting goals at this point. They're just, yeah. like, trying to... I mean, they, they certainly are not going to say no to one, but they, they're really just more trying to keep the ball from getting on their side of the field and just sort of burning the clock. And seven seconds left. Three, two, one, and... Down. There we go. There go. <laughs> <laughs> Wondering how long I was going to be able to hold that note. <laughs> Woo! The 2 0 lead now. Yeah. So far, shutout. So, Eagles having a good night, looking good, playing their game. And, you know, the first game, they had not quite settled in, but now I think they've kind of figured out the other team's game plan and they're very comfortable being able to counter that. You saw that manifest itself in a 5 0 win. That's what we like to see. Absolutely. So what do you try to do here if you are them and uh, trying to rev yourself up to make this a sweep? I think what they need to do is keep, kind of keep, keep playing what they did last time, just making smart uh, rotations and hits. And mm -hmm. once they get a lead, just to keep capitalizing it because once uh, the other team, if they would get behind, they start making mistakes so they want to try to get back into the game. But so the partner just needs to keep uh, taking advantage of their mistakes and, and scoring and try to win the game. 
for sure. I think that we did see that a little bit in that last match. That mm-hmm. Ferris kind of got aggressive, and you had like two guys going for the same ball when they really only yeah. needed one, uh, not really doing their setups as much because they were trying to score on almost everyone. Yeah. Which I mean, granted, I understand that to a degree because when you get that far behind, you really need to score goals quickly. Yeah. But um, just didn't work out for them. Yeah. So. All right, here we go. We got the next match coming up. So, and tip. Do they call it kickoff? But I think it should be tip off because there's no feet. <laughs> no feet involved. No kicking. Yeah, the car is the uh, main more sense. I know. This is why I should be in charge. <laughs> All right, and Lane with the goal. Oh, nice. Very nice. Nice fake there. Good little drive here. So you see Brandon kind of keeps, does a good job of keeping the ball from going to corner. And then their two guys were trying to keep the ball from going in. And so they were kind of uh, disoriented. And then Lane's able to just drive it in with an air dribble. So Brandon going to try to get one by coming off the ceiling. But oh, I just missed. Oh, wow. <laughs> and this is this set has been fraught with almost goals. A lot of ones up across the bar. Yep. All right, so oh. is that in? Oh okay, man! In. Off the ceiling. That's uh, that's one. Very it worked. Yeah, I mean it it's worked. an unconventional way to make a goal, but a goal's a goal. So it matters. Cameron tried to be the uh, the insurance guy to knock it in, but it didn't need it. Right, so Barber getting control of that tip off there. And you see they're going to rotate back here. Brand kind of playing last man back, rotating into the front there. Then Lane oh. driving for the goal, oh, but well defended by Ferris. Biker trying to play that corner when Barber comes up and tries to get some ball control. So, pass to Cameron. Cameron not really able to do anything with it. Now the ball's kind of stuck in that corner, which really is not a bad thing for us. Like I said, when, you, when you've got the lead, burning some clock, it's perfect. Okay. Oh, and Lane shoots off that. the backboard. Yeah, got a little too, too eager. All oh. right, and Brandon oh. with the demo. Lane oh, oh. with the kick. Wow. That, how did that not go in? <laughs> I don't know. All right, and Brandon going for the backwards. Trying to smack it somewhere near the goal. And Cameron. All right, oh, and Lane in. with the goal. Nice. That, that, that goal was a slow burn. It's like, oh, wait, it's in. No, it's not. No, wait, it's going. No, it's not. And then finally, it does go in. So good job by Lane there. Yep. And the fourth. Nice. So Lane does the setup right here, kind of knocks down and then goes right to Cameron who has nothing but open field in front of him. There was a Ferris State defender that tried to make it there but he was just a little too late. So a kick up into Faulkner territory and Brandon goes up for it but gets demoed in the process. Cameron going to try to knock it in. Ooh, nice! That was a nice Pretty shot. aerial. Very nice. Off the backboard and hit it back in. Uh huh. That was a designer play right there. 
That's a tough shot. Yeah, and Barber, you can tell he just didn't know where to go. And I don't blame him. I wouldn't have either. Don't you just have to kind of sit there and just know you can't really do anything about it, unfortunately. Yeah, sometimes that does happen to you, but luckily that's happening to them and not us right now. Yeah. So, 5 nothing lead with two minutes left in play. You know, last night the opposite thing happened where Faulkner, while playing Simpson, it seemed like the longer the game went on, the better Simpson got. Tonight, the opposite is happening. It seems like the longer the game goes on, the better fault. Yeah, this, they they were tied for number one with uh, with Faulkner for a reason. That's why that those games are a little closer. Oh, for sure. But you know that first set I think was six to nothing, and then after that, like Faulkner mm. just consecutively like That's had cool. closer games. Nice score by Cameron. So you see Lane was kind of, the goal got defended and so Cameron had to be the one to punch it in. Alright, so Brandon playing last man back, but able to be the one to act, get the set up. Is Cameron going to get another one here? Nope. So now back the ball back in Faulkner territory. And pretty close to the goal, but Brandon there to kick it back out. Alright, Cam. Let's do this. Nope. Nope. There we go. Brandon, Brandon seals the deal. I can tell Cameron wanted that one, but it just missed. So Brandon had to be the one to put yep. it back in. Uh, even if he hadn't been there, though, Lane was right behind yeah, him, so he would probably have. would have gotten it as well if it hadn't been Brandon. So, nice, nicely executed play there. Yeah, this one's looking like it's gonna go to fall here. here. Uh, I don't want to, uh, don't want to jump the gun there, but yeah. Yeah, go yeah. another one. Eight, eight to nothing. It's very difficult to come back from that with 24 seconds left. Okay. Yeah. If Ferris wins this one, they will deserve it. <laughs> but yeah, Faulkner has actually, if you're just now joining us, already won two matches, which means if they win this one, that game. One of their, one of their players and there. another one. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice shot. Lane with the setup. Comes down right in front of Cameron. Cameron just kind of pops it with the side of his car. And in a so you know what they're doing in there is they're trying to get the double digits. Yeah, I was about to say, I think they're trying to get the double digits. Which, I mean, if you're ahead by this much, why not? Why not yeah, go for it? Oh, and Brandon with the save. <laughs> Watch Cameron try to go for this. Oh, oh just out. <laughs> All right, can they do this? No, Brandon's out and Cameron does. Wow, they always did that, but that was fun. That was good. It's good to see the guys having a good time with it. Uh, all right, so that is game, and that means that the Faulkner Blue team has successfully completed a perfect regular season. Nice to see that. These these guys have been playing extremely well all season. They only lost one match all season. That's very impressive to me. Yep. They have just been, I mean, absolutely killing it all season long. And you love to see that. You love to see the guys uh, enjoying themselves, having a good time, uh, get the show out a little bit. And we're really looking forward to seeing what they do in the playoffs. I'm very much looking forward to it. And they're going to be going into the playoffs undefeated and ranked number one. That's that's nice. Yeah, I know they must, they must have a lot of confidence right now. And I don't, I don't blame them. But uh, yeah, when it comes to the playoffs, they got to get back into that that mindset. Well, you know, that's the thing about, about Cameron, because I interviewed him the other night, and he was talking about that. And one of the things that he told me is he's aware of who he's going to be playing in the playoffs. Like, he's already looked up their ranks and everything, and, like, he's he's already started to prepare himself for that. Like, he knows that it's going to be a big deal. He knows that it's going to be an uphill battle. Um, but, you know, he's also very confident that Faulkner has what it takes 
be able to perform very well there. And they've been performing at a high level all season long. We saw that really on display tonight, especially yeah. in those last two games. And so that's what we're expecting them to do in the playoffs as well. It'll be a nice postseason for them. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. And we'll be back in just a minute to talk to, I think we've got Lane on the dock for tonight. We'll be talking. So we'll be back in just a minute. Bless the corners of this house and be the lintel blessed. Bless the hearth and every board and each place of rest and every door that opens wide to stranger as to kin and every crystal window pane that lets the stars. For solace and safety home Where the world will not break me home Never forsake me, take me And welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much for being with us here for just coming off of Faulkner's big 3 nothing victory against Ferris State. And we're here with one of our players, Joshua Lane. Welcome in. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, is your mic on? Okay, just making sure. I, I couldn't see the uh, sound meters. Anyway, so uh, really glad to... Uh, yeah, really glad to have you here after a very pretty victory. Not just uh, that you won, but it, it, you looked really good, in the, especially in those last two games. Yeah, I would say it was a good one because the first game was a little uh, a little bit of nerve, probably why um, it seemed a lot better than it was. Mm -hmm. um, but first two games won't be um, out of confidence. Obviously, goals and... Um, yeah, it did seem as though there were a couple times in that first game where there were a couple guys in the same spot or yeah. there, there were some rotational issues. But after that, I mean, it was just kind of smooth sailing. Yeah, once we got our first, that first, and only, like, group. Yeah, it really did look like as well that you kind of figured out Ferris's, um, ball game a little bit like you you just kind of knew what to anticipate was that it or was that just my perception of it um in a way i could see that um but uh i would say that once we eliminated probably once we say that uh eliminated probably one of the good players you're well, played fast i got you well, you know, that's the way it goes from time to time. Uh, you just kind of get that one or two X factors kind of narrowed down, and then you're able to play off of that and, and neutralize that being a threat. Um, so I did want to ask you about just uh, what this means to you as uh, being on this team and, and it being a first-year team and you guys being able to complete a perfect season like this. I mean, you only dropped one match all year. Yeah. Um, I guess, in a way, it's because uh, obviously, kind of insane to have, but from the first to the end, um, able to build up. They know how to mm -hmm. trust each other, know how we play, play. Um, but other than that, I'd say it was well done, but it didn't go yet. Yeah, we've uh, got the playoffs ahead of us. So, uh, what are you going to be doing to prepare for that? Um, I would say I think I'm gonna try to do is um, just keep practicing what we usually do. Maybe do some uh, scrims together at our houses and just keep playing, keep playing together. 
Yeah, why break a system that doesn't work? Exactly. It, it works. I mean, if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Exactly. All right, well, that's good to hear. Um, so I did want to ask about one last thing that's somewhat not connected to the game. Um, if somehow, like, just worst case scenario, we had lost the game, we would no longer be wearing any jerseys. That would have been my policy from now on. Like, if, if we if our first game we play with jerseys, we lose. We're like, okay, we're not doing jerseys anymore. <laughs> no, nah, I'm kidding. No. Uh, I'm not. I'm actually not that super. But uh, thanks so much for being with us, yeah, and no congratulations problem. on a perfect season. Sure, let's go. All right. <laughs> Good to see the enthusiasm. That is, of course, Lane 3, or uh, as he's known to uh, other people, Joshua Lane. Uh, but great to have him with us this evening. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it up and be looking forward to having the playoffs with Rocket League. Uh, we will be giving you news on all of our social media platforms on what that's going to look like and what the schedule is going to be. So be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and uh, all of our other social media. Oh, Instagram. Don't forget we have an Instagram as well. So uh, be checking us out on all those to get updates on what the schedule is going to look like and when the games will be played. And we certainly look forward to seeing you there. Um, we do have another broadcast coming up with uh, Super Smash Brothers. That is going to be 6 p.m. on Thursday. We'll be playing Super Smash Brothers. That is the next time that you will see us on air. But for now, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up again with a final score of Faulkner 3 and Ferris State 0. So we're going to call it a night. Thank you so much for being with us. Stay the course, friends. The preceding broadcast was an official presentation of Faulkner University. It may not be redistributed without the express written consent of the Faulkner University Athletic Department. Regitar USA High Res Arena is sponsored by Regitar USA. The national anthem was performed by the Faulkner University Chorus. If you would like to learn more about the Faulkner Esports program, visit our official website at FaulknerEagles.com or follow us on Discord, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram for all the latest news and events. Thank you for watching and soar Eagles.